How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, we're going to be talking about everything that's been wrong with our Grand Design RV for the first year. Now, to give you a reference of what we're talking about today, we have the 28BH, it's a 2021, built in 2020, and it had full-time use this year. So we started in Arizona, and we traveled across the country to Florida, and we enjoyed a lot of our travels on the East Coast this year. So from Florida to Maine, and a lot of states in between, going over to Tennessee and Kentucky, tons of great memories this year on, on that route. But that's what we're looking at, and that's where the RV was mainly used full-time use for the year. So to start things off is we have a little leak that we need to address under here. This just happened last night. So we had an icicle coming out from the underside of the RV. So we obviously have a leak in the plumbing somewhere. So uh, I want to address that. But uh, overall, we've been really happy with the RV and we haven't had any like major things wrong with it. But I do want to go over the list of, of being honest with everything that we've had go wrong, that we've had to repair or we've had warranty done to the RV. So let's drop the underbelly here so that we can take a look at what we can do to repair it or improve it. So it looks like this flexible pipe in here that I wish was PEX is going to be the culprit. So there's a lot of PEX in the RV, but they put in this flexible pipe too. And so I'm going to replace that with PEX so that I don't have this issue. I'm probably gonna put in a valve in here too. So I'm gonna have to run to the store, but you might be asking why I'm not putting this in for warranty and just having it done that way. So let's talk about some of the things that I put in for warranty and why I'm just handling this one myself. Now this is something that we put in for warranty was this red pressure regulator on the propane side on the passenger side of the RV. It was making all kinds of noise and problems. So uh, we were just e able to call them, send an email of exactly what was wrong and they just sent us the product. So they did that with this propane pressure regulator and they did that with um, an issue that we were having with the tire link system for being able to monitor the tire pressure inside of the RV. And then we also had a light that was kind of wigging out on the inside that we were able to uh, get that replaced. And so they just sent us the product and I was able to uh, replace it myself. And I didn't have to worry or wait on anybody in an RV service center or have to have the RV in for service when we were trying to live inside of the RV. So it worked well for us having that stuff sent to us. Now, to be honest, the tire pressure monitor system still isn't functioning properly on here. And that's really more on my end because I haven't followed up on it but I'm not being able to link my alert indicator with the tire pressure monitor system. So I get alerts on the phone, but I don't get that alert indicator and the phone doesn't always refresh on this system as well as it did on the tire minder system. So we just swap back over to the tire minder system and that's working fine, but it'd be nice to be able to review this and be able to have it working properly because I really like the display of it inside of the app. So that's something that's on my to-do list because I would like to give that a good review of that, that system. Now the next thing on our list are these shelves in the back bedroom because uh, we have so much stuff on them. They're, they're probably designed just to have clothes on them, but we have more things in there than the weight can handle for each of these shelves. So when you're driving, you hit a bump, it causes the whole thing to fail because it's just put together with staples. So each time we've had to take those staples out, we screw it to the wall. This one has a little bit of aluminum to help strengthen it, uh, but we just put it back together with screws, tighten it down, and they have all been fine and, and working well. So we did have a couple other things that need to be secured down a little bit better. This end panel isn't supposed to move that much. You can feel the staples in there. They just didn't quite reach, but I do have to say, a lot of these problems I think I bring on myself because there used to be a countertop extension here. And I'm wondering if these screws that held in that countertop extension actually helped hold this panel in. So that's gonna be a pretty easy fix. Here's another one that's our fault is this piece of trim on the side of the slide, just a little bit loose on both sides. I think uh, when we were putting the slide out, we had something get stuck there just barely. Like we noticed it right away, uh, but it was just enough to pop this piece loose. But just trying to give you a detailed list of everything that we've had go wrong in the RV for the year. 
Now, one of the last ones on our list is the fridge. The fridge stopped working on us in the middle of summer, which was a terrible time because we lost almost everything that was in the fridge. But the problem that we had with the fridge was we have those fans in the back and they seized up and they were blowing the fuses and it shut down the entire fridge and freezer. Nothing was working. So I was able to figure that out pretty quickly and we bypassed the fans so that the, the fridge could still function. It wasn't going to be quite as efficient or quite as cold as we could could if we had those fans in the back working, but we were able to get it up and going. And then I was able to get a couple of fans within a day or two, and we were back up and running at full steam ahead. But one of the things that we had to do to work on the back of the fridge is we had to gain a little bit more access. So you do have your vent at the bottom of the fridge, you have your vent at the top of the fridge, and Grand Design puts an extra piece of wood in the back there so that that air, as it's coming up and pushed by those fans, it's able to go all the way past all the coils and the, the freezer area, and then it goes out the top. So that piece of wood helps that process so that all the air can pass over the areas that it needs to on the back of the fridge. The problem is that piece of wood restricts you from being able to get to those fans or anything back there to work on. So we just cut that out so that we can remove it when we need to, but then it still goes back in. So when we're done working on it, that piece of wood stays in that vent so that we can have that air pass by all those coils and all those fins to help that fridge work better. So that was a modification that we did on the back of the fridge to be able to work on it when we need to. But looking at our list, that's really the, the last thing that we've had go wrong. I was trying to think and rack my brain of everything that went wrong in it this last year, and that was really our list. So really not too bad. I've been happy with the quality of this RV. It's definitely a higher quality than the one that we had before that was a 2004. And this one that we are currently in was built in 2020. It's a 2021, and this is our experience of everything that we've had to repair on it in the last year. So you can see that, that my plan moving forward is always to try and stay away from the RV service centers or putting it in for work. Usually the RVs disappear for a decent amount of time or it takes a considerable amount of time to have them repaired. So all these things were minor enough that uh, we were able to do them ourselves. If we had an issue with the, the frame or something like that, we would try and get in. But with these smaller things that we can handle, I would much prefer to handle it on my own, just repair it and get back on with our RV life. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I just wanted to give you guys the information of everything that we've seen over this last year to help you guys be informed and know what to expect if you're looking at something like a grand design. So this is in no way sponsored, but this is just our experience and uh, everything that we've had to deal with in the last year. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.